Gotta make this quick because I have a little baby right there and he's awake, but I still wanted to record this video to tell you about this newest device. This is the Rode Wireless Me. It is a wireless microphone, and I think it is a amazing option for yoga teachers, and I'm going to tell you why. You'll see other reviews of this from photographers and videographers, but let me share with you why I think it's a great option for yoga teachers and a few of the pros and cons in comparison to the Rode Wireless Go 2, which is what I've been recommending for many years. Maybe you found me through this microphone, but now they came out with this new version. And I really just happened to stumble upon a video talking about it, and I thought, you know what? I need that, I'm gonna buy it, so I bought it, and here I am to talk about it. So none of this is sponsored and none of this has been given to me. I pay for everything I have. <laughs> So with this Rode Wireless Me, it comes with the microphone transmitter TX and the receiver RX. So the RX receiver would be plugged into your computer or device and the TX microphone would be clipped onto you. Now you can already tell that it looks a little bit different because it's got a massive logo on it. <laughs> but uh, what I might recommend is that you put some tape over it. It's also really shiny. It's a lot shinier. And in, in regards to like the specs, it's the same as the Rode Wireless Go 2 as far as size and weight. This one is a little shinier. So like I said, some tape over the front might be good. Or if you're like me and you sort of like tuck it in your shirt, you can take off this tape right here that tells you that this microphone um, goes to you and that this this piece goes to your computer or your camera so you can take off that tape uh, this actually was made specifically for people who do tiktoks tiktoks and instagram reels so this was made for the content creator in that regard it's also more affordable so there are some pros and cons to this i'm just sharing with you a little bit more about it so i've been using the go to or now the me for the past three years, this one's brand new. So what I do is I clip it onto my shirt, plug this into my computer or my phone and turn them on and uh, a great audio. So with the audio quality, it's pretty much the same as the go-to. Both of them have great audio quality. It's not necessarily an upgrade, it's just slightly different. And that's what I'm gonna go through again with a specific audience of fitness and yoga teachers in mind. Okay, so let's go through some of the uh, pros, some of the cons, and then how to use it with each of your devices. So one of the pros is that it is less expensive. It's less pricey and you get all, more of the cables with it. So this has a base price of $150. The go-to starts at 200. That would be just for these two pieces, but it doesn't come with all the cables. So not only are you saving $50 on the base price, but the cables that this one comes with saves you another 15 to 20 to $30, depending if you get the road brand or if you get an off brand. So you're saving probably about 75 to $80 difference with this microphone versus this one. What's he saying? What you saying? Okay, let's continue. <laughs> One of the huge positive is that it comes with a lot more of the cables that you would need. We've got the SD2 cable. This is the only one that the Rode Wireless Go 2 came with along with a couple charging cables. Comes with the SD7, which a lot of you probably found me from when I talked about you need this cable to plug into your phone or your computer. It comes with, I love this one. It comes with the lightning cable adapter for your iPhone. So straight from microphone to iPhone and also a USB-C to USB-C for other types of phones and devices. So if you don't have an iPhone, it's probably this one you're gonna use. So you've got four cables. Um, what it didn't come with was a USB-A cable like this one. These are the charging cables that, that Rode creates. So USB-C to USB-A. And that is because I think the world is straying away from USB-A cables. However, you might have an older computer, you might have you know, a device or a charging outlet that is USB-A. So this is extra, this is not included. Uh, and so you may have to pick yourself up one of these. Just saying. It doesn't come with instructions though, so you don't really know which cables go to which, unless you're watching this. So let me break it down for you. We've got the lightning cable adapter, which goes to your iPhone. The C to C, USB C to C, this can go into your computer or to a phone that's not an iPhone. <laughs> the black to black cable, this one will go into a speaker, a GoPro or a camera. The 
SC7 cable, which is a TRRS to TRS, goes into also your phone or computer. This side would go into your device, this side into the Rode microphone, okay? Black side to the Rode microphone, gray side to your device, which is usually gray. I remember it because they're kind of color coded. Uh, this would be a different option if, if uh, the USB inputs didn't work. This could be for your phone or your computer. And if you have a like an auxiliary, a headphone jack in your computer or on your phone, it also may work. So this would be for your phone if you have a headphone jack input. Uh, so the question arises is, can I use it to amplify my voice? Yes, you can. I have a speaker here. It has to be a headphone jack input or this auxiliary input. Use the black and black cable, plug it in, turn the volume all the way up on this and also the DB level all the way up on this and you're good to go for voice amplification. It works great. Some more positives about this is that um, there's also an additional microphone in the receiver. And obviously I think this was made for those content creators out there because if you plug it into your phone and you have a microphone right on the receiver, you can talk right into that. So imagine this, I'm making a TikTok. I set my phone up and I've got this, I don't know, maybe it's on top of my, maybe I've, I just clip it, right? I clip it right here. And now I can talk and it just like sounds awesome instead of whatever audio is in my, my phone. So, so I could talk right into here if I'm up close and personal. It picks up a little better than your phone quality. Not gonna do a demo, you just gotta trust me, it's really great. Instead of having to use this one on your shirt, you just talk right into this one, which is really neat, right? So that's kind of cool. Even with my OtterBox, it clips on. Like, so it won't fall off, that's amazing. It pairs with the other Rode Wireless Go 2s and other Mi's, so if you have other microphone transmitter pieces, you can pair them in with this one, which is cool, so they're interchangeable. Oh, there's one more thing that I have to tell you that is I'm most excited about, and that is the auto gain assist. And that is added to this Rode Wireless Me, and it's not included in the Go 2 or the original. So not in this, it's in the Wireless Me. And what it does is it makes it feel a little bit more of a natural sound, it automatically adjust the gain or the volume levels, if we're gonna speak candidly, the volume levels as you tilt your head or look this way or if you're out in different areas. So it won't have all that peaking. Like if you if you get really close to it, it won't have as much peaking. So you can turn that on to auto and I think that is a fabulous function of the Rode Wireless Me. Now let's get into some of the cons or some of the confusing tidbits. Uh, number one, there's no explanations or instructions for these cables or how you use it. It doesn't even instruct you to download the app. So one of the things about the wireless me is that is there is no display screen. As you can tell, the display screen versus the Rode Wireless Go 2, there's a display screen here that gives me, if I turn it on, it will give me the information here. There's a couple buttons at the bottom to change the decibel levels to change, um, to mute it, to pair it. So that's all in here. In fact, I have never downloaded the Rode Central app until I got the me. And I, I finally did and I, I plugged this thing in and it needed a huge firmware update. But besides the point, I never really needed it because all of the information was right here. Now to change the settings in the wireless me, you need the app. And the app is really easy to navigate, so don't get thrown off by that at all. You would simply plug it into your phone, and I'll put it right here, and you change the settings just as you would on this display screen, but it's a little easier because you just touch and tap. So if you want to um, have the uh, a quieter volume or pick up less, you would have it lower uh, or medium or high, so there's three I call them volume levels. I know they're not volume levels, but that's what that's the terminology I'm gonna use. I typically keep it to lower medium for teaching yoga and high if I'm amplifying my voice on a speaker. I turned the 
the gain assist on auto because that's for more variety of different things that you're doing. Dynamic is more even if you have more even area and you're, you're talking more evenly and then you can turn it off. But the auto gain assist, uh, you can turn it to auto and it will help avoid all that peaking in your voice. This is a big one that all these like photographers and tech people were saying that is not so good and you definitely should get the Rode Wireless Go 2 because of this one functionality that I'm like, I don't care. As a yoga teacher, I've never used it. So, and that function is internal recording. So on the Go 2, if you record into the microphone, whatever microphone, it will save a recording inside of the microphone so you can pull it out in case something happens. And that's awesome. I've never used it. And I don't think it's a big deal for online yoga teachers. If you are teaching on Zoom or recording YouTube videos, eh, eh, it's up to you. But there is no internal recording in the wireless me. That's just the way it goes. So you lost that function. Again, I never needed that function. So download the Rode Central app, both on your computer and your phone. Your phone is gonna be where you can change some of the settings and your computer is where you're gonna update some of the firmware or the, the operating system of the microphones whenever they come up with updates. And that's always good to have. And have at it, have fun with it. So do I recommend the Rode Wireless Me over the two? Yes. For yoga teachers in this day and age, at this time, in this year, if you are teaching online, I would say go for the wireless me if you are not scared of downloading a very simple app and using it to adjust the settings. Go with this one. It's more affordable. The quality is great. You've got that gain assist option so that um, your voice doesn't bounce around so much. The, there's no peaking or as much. And um, that's it. So I will link any of the links. They are affiliate links, by the way. So if you purchase using my links, I get like this much commission, <laughs> which is cool. It's just, a, it's, it's, you know, it's awesome. But I did buy this on my own to share with you because I really like the road company. Uh, I've had other companies send me microphones to review and I, I've done it and they give me a free product. Most of those have been discontinued. Unfortunately, that's the truth. But I have extreme doubt that Rode will ever discontinue their wireless microphones. They just do so well. They're so good. Uh, so what you would do, plug it in, put it on you, start teaching. Make sure you download the app if you get this one. Um, that's it. Okay? All right.